blah, 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 my souls, blah, 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 the outrage. <laughs>、Hi、there, Otome fans and fellow main characters, it's Lei Quen. Back today with a new demo. This game is called The Seven Districts of Sin The Tale Makes a Fox. So it was recommended to me by the creators of Signs and Seal with a Kiss. The fair use policy of this game states you can only play the demo for YouTube. However, I thought it might be fun to do a little mini series as we head into Halloween season. It's one of my favourite times of year. So, I'm going to be releasing like a little 10 15 minute segment of the demo every couple of days as we get towards Halloween. So, there's a link in the description to the full game on itch.io in the description. If you want to follow along and see when I release the next part, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and don't forget that little notification just to let me know that you're enjoying what you're seeing. So, let's get on with the game. Years have passed, but still none have forgotten the Hundred Year War, the tragedy that came very close to overthrowing the Supreme Lord of Hell, Lucifer. Wayward demons who had received nothing but abuse deceived the ultimate deceiver and waged war on the devil. Lucifer squashed that first attack swiftly. It would have been the end of the war had not one significant event occurred. Those traitorous demons join e d sides with the humans, lending the mortals their unholy powers. The battle escalated into a fierce and bloody struggle, causing death to plague, causing death to plague both earth and hell for decades upon decades. Those acts of insubordination dealt a huge blow to the Lord of Hell's patience and pride. It was simply not enough for them to snuff out the, the war, many had to fall along with it. Disregarding all loyalties, both enemy and ally alike were torn down by the devil's own hand. With the end of the Hundred Year War, the structures of hell were broken and in need of reform, and so Lord Lucifer split the underworld into seven districts, each with its own distinct culture. The first district, Kettle, Kessel of Gluttony, the second district, Fas Huang of Lust. Probably not how you say it. The third district, oh my goodness, Mercy Lego of Greed. The fourth district, Phantasma of Pride. The fifth district, Grastine of Sloth. The sixth district, Kamonoteo of Wrath. I'm sorry. And finally, the seventh district, Ohio of en Envy. Uh, tough words to say out loud. Fine to read, however. <laughs> Order, as much as peace as one could expect in hell, was restored by that act. Each district was allowed to live independently from the rest, but was asked to deal with their own problems. And, controlled by their own, their own individual governors, they were each tasked with harvesting a particular sin. This new way of life divided the demons, allowing Overlord Lucifer to establish a stronger control over them, ensuring, ensuring that they would never again be betrayed. At least that was the idea. Recently, there has been unrest within the districts. One in particular has been causing more trouble than they're worth, and the devil is starting to get, get tired of hearing about it. Who? Lucy, as the Overlord is more casually known, squints at the snivelling governing standing before them. Oh, here we have Lucy, or Lucifer. Governor. Whatever the man is saying is irrelevant. Right now, Lucy isn't focused on his complaints. Instead, they are entertaining themselves by creating the illusion of placing him just between their forefinger and thumb with one forceful pinch. They pretend to crush him. They can already hear the governor's bones snapping and his blood sloshing from his skin like a bursted pimple. Gross! The man stops speaking as Lucy's face brightens with an enlightened realization. Again, what the governor says is irrelevant and isn't impacting the devil's mood or thought processes at all. 
Lucy suddenly realises it's with the greatest delight that their devilishness does not have to be imaginary. They can do exactly that and so easily in reality without consequence. <laughs> Voice acting. Nice. Their strangely melodic laugh fills the throne room, the hallway and every room from the east to the west. Quickly, uh, cracks quickly run through the walls, wooden doors splinter and the windows all rock violently in their frames. It should be noted that the cost incurred every year in collateral damage just from the overlord's moods should never be mentioned or thought of. <laughs> This year alone, 80 people in the finance department have been executed for mentioning it. <laughs> a bug. You're like a tiny little bug. Bug-like. Cool. Lucifer continues to snicker, the demonic laughter lying, dying, just a sliver of a smile. My mist. Mistress. Oh. Mass. The su Supreme Overlord shakes their heads slowly, a warning glint shimmering in their eager eyes. It seems playful at first, but slowly begins to bore holes into the demon's skull. The Governor gasps loudly, afraid to open his mouth and utter the wrong thing again. But the tap of Lucy's fingers against the arm of the throne represents a countdown of the seconds of patience they have left. Lady Lord Sir? Lady Lord Sir? Insubordination! Nice. Lucy's foot slams down, causing a quake to ripple through the entire building. The human resource department below is showered in rubble, but they continue to work through the natural disaster that is their overlord. <laughs> You, the fourth governor of the third district, come here before me and do grovel appropriately. A longer finger points towards the governor. Anger burns bright in Lucy's eyes, igniting a flickering fire in the palm of their hand. Do you not wonder what happened to the first three governors of your district? I can guess. The Lord of Hell's voice cracked with demented joy as the fire grows and engulfs their whole hand. I, I apologise. I humbly beg your forgiveness, O oh great ruler. At least that one was gender neutral. The flame of the overlord's anger extinguishes as suddenly as it had appeared. Sitting back down on the throne, Lucy's voice becomes insipidly sweet. Apology accepted. Now, back to what you are here for. I think you should, um, the only clear course of action is, mm, what did you come here for? <laughs> Lucy vaguely remembers whatever the governor is complaining about is boring and troublesome. They really don't want to listen to the man repeat himself, however, not knowing is also very irritating to the overlord, and by asking, They'll be irritate, irritated, but not ignorant. About the Comunito district, they have been practically caught red-handed trifling my, in my district's affairs. Practically caught is not the same as being caught, though, is it? Lucy now remembers why they had gotten bored and started to imagine the governor as a bug. Uh, that's correct. I know that the 6th district is up to something. I can just smell the greed on that, that succubus. And she's taunting me because she knows that I know and I... What a whiny creature. Blah, 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 my souls. Blah, 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 the outrage. <laughs> I'm liking this Lucy. Why haven't I killed them already? <laughs> Once more bored of the governor, Lucy's mind begins to wander. Then, some, finally, something the man says get through to the ruler's idle mind. What will you do about her transgressions? What will I do? Do you truly think that was an appropriate thing to ask me? 
And I'd advise you to think quickly on that. Uh, the governor babbles, caught between apologizing and continuing his whiny rants about the 6th district. I am begging you, O oh Great One, to not misunderstand, but something still has to be done about the 6th district. Oh, whiny little thing. Misunderstand? Whiny, whiny. INSUBORDINATION! Lucy screams, and a ring of fire surrounds the governor. Die! Simple. The man is swallowed by the flames, leaving a charged pentagram on the ground and a pile of ash in its wake. Lucy slouches against their throne, pinching the space between their brows. I know you're there, Fox. Oh. From behind the curtains, a twin-tailed fox emerges with her, her body already bowed before her lord. You, um, what's your name for? Oh, time to add our names. So, there we go, Lay Quinn. And the initial for that is L. Though it isn't right to expect someone like Lucifer to remember somebody as significant as Lay Quinn. The fox has dedicated herself to the ruler. It is honestly too much to expect Lucifer to remember her name. I am Lei Quen, loyal subject of Hell and Ward of the State. To you I am devoted, and only to you do I bow. Yes, right. What did you hear, fox? After having gone through the trouble of introducing herself, the girl is simply back to fox again. <laughs> Any normal person would know when to quit, but Lei Quen is a pro sycophant and knows no shame. Sadly true. <laughs> My supreme ruler, you who shroud this lower region in your constant disapproval and wrath, our most illustrious keeper of what is wrong with all the cosmos, a loser like no... Enough! If you're going to worm your way further up my anus, I would ask that you make it quick and not so painfully obvious. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> yes, Supreme Ruler of the Netherworld, Lucif. Answer my question now, Fox. Lei Quen yips to a stand, and the fur on her tails bristle under the sudden blaze of Lucy's gaze. He came to seek your guidance on the continued issue of the 6th district. I believe its governess has been suspected of... Ah, oh, yes, the 6th district, Kumanaito. What a pain they've been lately. It's like stepping on Lego, listening to their complaints. You shouldn't have to concern yourself with them, my lord. You are far above their lonely minds. Exactly! Nailed it. Why does nobody understand how painful it is caring about such trivial issues? Lucy groans loudly and the vibrations of their lordly voice knocking at falls off their perches. I think I understand and I'm only too happy to... Yes, I know how far you go to. Perhaps there is some hole you can go crawl into? Excuse me? I meant help. Some hole you can help out of. If these complaints are ever going to stop, I need to send my very best worker to fix the problem. Me? Of course not her. Lucy doesn't have any workers that aren't simply disposable tools. They do have ones that they can't seem to get eas easily get rid of. Unfortunately, Lei Quen is number one on that list. Of course you, um, uh... Lei Quen. Delight runs through the girl, and her tails flip around with anticipation as she hangs on to every word with the kind of dog-like devotion your parents or guardians warn you about. Sadly, Lei Quen would jump off a cliff if Lucy told her to. All she needs is a nice high cliff, and for the old lord to say jump for her to prove it. Yes, that. Lei Quen. <laughs> the most evil one said my name. Yes, I'll say it again, please. Her tails flick back and forth joyfully. She rocks on her feet, waiting for Lucy to say her name again. Lei Quen waits as the task is explained to her, but all she wants is to hear her name. So not a single word actually gets through to her. Girl? Lei Quen. The Lord said my name again! Are you listening, 
Respond when I speak to you, Fox. No, not Fox again. I was so close. Yes, my humblest apologies. You are to go to that little hellhole of a district and report back anything you find there. As you command. But what she says is what she says, but deep inside, Lei Quen is crying at the thought of leaving. Return when you found something interesting. And Fox, absolute discretion is key. As you command. Lucy waves their devilish hands and sends Lei Quen away with a teleportation incantation. And so begins the story of the Hell's government's most trusted worker, employee number 55378008, Lei Quen, the great two-tailed gum heel. That solved both of my problems. Now, where's my Lego? I feel like forcing someone to river dance on it. <laughs> Lego is the worst thing to stand on in the world. That unplugs. So here we have a card about Lucifer. So that's it for this part. Please check back in a couple of days for the next part. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe if you would like to see what happens next. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I'd especially like to hear what you think about where the game might be heading. So, bye for now.